My name is Jeff Hurdle. Um, I'm a brain tumor survivor. Uh, six years ago, I was a totally different spot than I am today. And let me tell you my story. So in 2009, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and it, it, uh, it happened really fast and I was having terrible headaches and I went to the doctor and got a scan and, and I was, uh, showed up on the, on the CAT scan and I had to have surgery, brain surgery, um, within like two days. So that just started a huge process of hospital, brain surgery, and after about eight weeks of, of just eight weeks of just, I can't say it in a nice way, um, uh, we, we finally got through it and, and I was able to go home and, you know, I thought maybe I was just going to get away from this and maybe it was just going to go away. And we, we prayed hard and we talked to God a lot and, but, but my symptoms started getting worse and um, I, I, I got to where I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk right, I was slurring my speech and I was falling down and uh, my dad basically said we're going to MD Anderson and so we got on an airplane and went to Houston to MD Anderson and the doctors the doctors told me that I would get worse before I got better if I got better from the first day I knew that something was was going on this was not normal and I started getting better the first day of treatment what's a prosperity gospel guy down there um, Joel, Osteen. Joel Osteen. I went to see Joel o Osteen. I was in Houston, and so it was a Sunday. I went to see Joel o Osteen, and we're not big prosperity uh, gospel people, you know, but God spoke to us, to me, that day. He said that, that you know, God could, could do one little thing, and your life could be changed forever, and I really believe that. And I believe that that God would was was doing something special. By the end of the first week, I was calling April, my wife, and and telling her that hey, I can, I'm I can see again. I can see it to to read, and um, and I'm not falling down. And um, I was in the taxi, and a an '80s song came on the radio, and I started singing along with it. I was some, I could hear. I was getting my hearing back, and it just went like that through the whole process. I was there for seven weeks, and I just got better, just completely better. It was amazing. I knew that that God was was with us, and we had felt His his presence when when all that was when I was getting better every day we knew God was there with us uh, but the tumor was still there and so the mental uh, aspect I mean knowing that I had a, a large tumor in my head was was not giving me comfort <laughs> so I did a year of chemo by mouth and the tumor still stayed about, you know, it shrank about 5%. But I went back for one of my checkups. This is probably 2013, and uh, I had been having headaches again. And I was like, oh, you know, the tumor's back. I was really scared. I, I said, okay, what's, what, what's going on? And he said, well, I don't know if you have any cancer or tumor cells left, and I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. C cells, what are you talking about? I've got a large tumor. He said, well, it's not on the MRI anymore. We don't see anything. Um, it, it, was, it was an incredible moment, and, and we felt, and we were praising God, and, and just, it was a, a miracle to us, and 
the tumor was gone and I was not worried about my family anymore. I was just, we, we were crying as tears of joy as we we're going out of the airport and I'm sure people thought we were nuts and I don't care what they thought, but <laughs> the two, I did not have a tumor anymore. And so, you know, I think that, you know, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, bad things are going to happen. And, and, you know, the, the, and things don't turn out like mine did. They, I, you know, I think that, that, you know, if, a, if what happened to me happened every day, then it, it wouldn't be anything special about it. It wouldn't be a miracle or anything. And a lot of times the hard things that happen to us and the bad things that happen to us, there's something good on the other side. And maybe we grow, maybe we change, maybe we get healed, but something good is on the other side. And if we just, if we just know that, that we put our, put it all on God, He's gonna take care of us. And that's, that's pretty much my story. Mm -hmm.